Uh, for me, Aikido is, is not about winning. It's about making it home at the end of the day. Aikido is about reacting to action. It's all about just the, the atmosphere and being around people of like knowledge and exchanging information and then testing out your techniques. And, and then, hey, well, that worked well, or, well, that was a really bad idea. I need to scrap that one and start something new. Um, so it's, it's just about, you know, self-development, self um, learning your mistakes and, and learning how to improve them. That is an internal fight. That's not something that someone else can fight for you. That's something you have to look internally and try to figure out why Why is it so important to you. We're not here to fight. We're here to make sure that we can defend ourselves and others. But knowing yourself, knowing others and your surroundings will help to get you home and keep you safe. You notice that the wind picks up and there's a, you know, a dark cloud rolling in and the leaves start turning up. Well, I recognize that that might be there's some rain coming. Um, so you might want to prepare for that. So, you know, you can grab your umbrella or go in the house or don't take your bike out that day, drive a different car or something like that. If you're walking down the street and there's, you know, a guy staring at you, you might want to not go down there or, you know, have a better understanding of why is he staring at you. Um, you know, if you're living on your block and it's people on your block that you don't regularly see and you don't understand why, you know, you just want to make sure that you yourself are in a, in a situation where you can keep yourself safe. The more you understand who you are and what you want to be, and, and then it's easier to, to avoid uh, bad situations. But just be aware of your surroundings. Um, you know, if, if the first the first thing to, to, to avoid a fight is, is number one goal. It's like, you know, people fight for dumb reasons and don't be dumb. Like, you know, avoid it. If they, they want something from you, find out if you can just give it to them. Truly, no one can win in competition. Um, we have a lot of road rage incidents and things like, like, like that going on right now. And that is competition. Like people are competing over mm -hmm. space in the road that belongs to no one. Like, why is that Why is that a thing? Like, you know, just back off or give him the room to take his space. Yes, he's an asshole, but that's his choice in life, not your own. Because he's an asshole does not mean you have to stoop with his loved one, be an asshole and compete with him over this, mm -hmm. you know, car length of space. Uh, you know, the true goal in Aikido is to make it home every day. One of the first rules they teach in Aikido is, is well, to Miki Aikido, is, is my eye, proper distance from your attacker. In the past, when I was an offensive fighter, I didn't recognize um, certain scenarios, and I found myself walking in a scenario, and, and I was in the mix of a situation I did not understand. Um, and if I knew Aikido back then, I think I would have recognized the situation well in advance and would have never even uh, portrayed or, or, or put myself in that kind of scenario. But let's just say that I, I found myself in a situation where uh, being totally offensive was great, but I was quickly overwhelmed where there was more attackers than I could deal with. Um, things didn't work out well, and I spent a little bit of time in shock trauma, you know, some organ damage, that kind of thing. So um, after a stint in the hospital and a, a year of recovery, I was originally um, looking for something that was a little softer on the body, um, you know, looking for the soft side of the art. It looks as boring as it does online. I mean, it looks like, you know, these guys are practicing throwing each other around, and I don't really understand it. And I was like, hey, those guys are friends. He's trying to cup his head as he throws him to the ground. If he really wanted to hurt him, he would just drive his face into the ground. And I could see that when he was doing arm bars and, and you know, I could see like he was trying his best not to hurt the other person. And, and I was hooked from there because I could see that the potential in the techniques that he were doing. And I could understand that he was being gentle because that was his choice. Um, and he was trying not to do damage. And from there, I was, I was stuck on Aikido and I, I knew it was where I wanted to be. What kind of person are you internally? Um, if you are a quiet person and you keep to yourself and, and you know, you're not out there trying to attack others, um, then you're in a position to defend yourself. That is someone attacking you. Um, and that's what Aikido is 100% designed for. But if you are a bouncer or something like that, that's a different thing. That's a different role where you have to insert yourself into a situation. So yes, you will, you will need other training. So you got to decide who you are, what you want to do with what you have. There, there are certain types of people in the world, you know, there are some people that, um, you know, are A-type people, they're aggressive, they want to attack, like they see a situation and they want to want to run towards it kind of thing. Um, if you're that type of person, like, you know, you want to be the first one to throw the punch, or you want to, you know, cause the reaction, then Aikido is going to be a struggle for you because Aikido is about um, redirecting energy. So if you're giving energy, you can't redirect it at the same time. Um, so, and that, that's literally what it comes down to is, is what kind of personality do you have? Um, everybody looks at arts for different reasons. And I, and I believe like, you know, you don't pick an art, an art kind of, you know, ex exposes itself to you because it should represent your personality and who you are or who you want to be. Um, so, and I tell, and I have people that, that are fighters that, that really enjoy Aikido, but, but in, in theory, 
if your true goal is to fight and you like fighting, you like that feeling of, of the, you know, the testosterone growing and all that kind of stuff. Number one, in the beginning of the fight, things are not going to work out well because you're going to have to be attacking. And then most Aikido fights are over in four to five seconds. They're not, they're not, they're not fights. They're, they're, you know, eliminating threats and making yourself home. So if you're eliminating an attack within four or five seconds, that, 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 you know, that feeling of success <laughs> is not there. You know, after mm. a fight, you know, you're all bloody and they're all bloody and you're huffing and puffing and you're like, I won. But in an Aikido fight, they come at with you, you do a technique, they're on the ground and you're going to your car. That feeling is not there. So you're not going to you're not going to like that feeling. You're going to be like, man, I should have did more. or I should have, which, I, you know, we all go through that. I went through that when I was younger. Like, I want to do more. I want to feel this success. But that's mm. not what Aikido is about. Aikido is about success, not about feeling the success. One of the things that I tell everyone is pressure test your understanding of any martial art. Um, mm. Aikido is, is, can be done in a way that is very brutal and very dangerous. So if you, you can't practice that in a real world scenario, but you can take a, 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 a kata and say, if this happens, I'm going to respond in this way and then practice that in an unscripted way. Um, so pressure testing is, is a, I don't know who came up with that term a few years ago, but I think that is a great definition mm. of Tamiki Aikido. Because Aikido, the way it taught to me, was, was, was theories of combat. It wasn't actual combat. It was a theory of what would happen. And then Tamiki, to me, is a way of practicing those theories. I don't know if you've ever actually been into a, a fight or something like that, but there's a certain part of, of your heart that you have to, you know, because you could, you could practice fighting all your life, but when someone punches you in the face, uh, I tell my students, uh, you know, Aikido will run away and leave you in the fight if you don't train it to be in the fight. Um, so you have to you have to pressure test yourself to know that when the, when the situations happen, me, my mind, my body, my soul, my Aikido, we're all going to be in this together and we're going to get all of us home at the same time. Um, so if you don't practice that, um, you have no way of knowing exactly how you're going to respond when that when that situation happens. Uh, you know, slow passes first, understand what you're doing, you know, do some tweaks here and there and then building up to a pace where you where you think you can perform. Um, at a good pace and, and still do no damage to yourself or others. And you start out at a pace that is comfortable for everyone. So, you know, and the person um, that is not receiving the techniques, the person without the tanto is in control of the speed. So if the person stabs him like seven times in a row, he can easily say, you know, hey, okay, that's really good. Can you slow down a little bit? I'm working on something. Eventually, we want to push you a little bit out of your comfort zone. And then when that gets comfortable, a little bit more. Uh, and, and the way Aikido is designed, you never, ever want to be doing your Aikido at full speed or breakneck, um, you know, because it is, you know, a Budo and it's designed to, 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 to survive. So it's not ever meant for that in your pressure testing. But you definitely want to go at a pace that is, um, let's just say, realistic in some way.